So we have an event and adventure. We are going to do a dual battery install with the electric all wheel dual battery discharge balancer kit. We have our extension cables, our balancer. We also have the infamous 48 volt 10 amp hour battery that we've been utilizing on all of our dual battery installs. We'll get it out. We will demo for you without the main battery and then we'll show how it syncs up inside. I believe that there's enough room in the controller compartment to get this done without the balancer being exterior to the body. So without further ado, we're just gonna get into this. First things first, make sure your bike is powered off and then I'm just gonna remove the battery. For the Adventure, it's gonna be three plugs right here on the inside of the down tube that you're gonna remove. And then there's gonna be one screw right here which is your wire guard cover. Right, so we're going to pull the guard cover off. It's just a piece of plastic. And then this is loose. So we'll just go ahead and lift it out. And here's what's going on on the inside of your bike. And I know that the controller is down there and it's actually in there with some uh, sticky tape, but we don't really need it. We know that our power out from the battery is here. This is our XT60. So this is what we're gonna use and we're just gonna get it in there. We're gonna, there's plenty of space down here. So we're not really worried about uh, placement. We'll just push the balancer down in the bottom and then run the cabling up from the underside. Cables first from the bottom. And then we'll hook up the balancer and then we'll close it up. For our battery, we know that the two batteries require, uh, they have the male ends, which actually look like female ends on here. So we're gonna push this in through the bottom so it can connect here. And then this will plug in to the battery. Like so. There we go. We're going to take our second cable and make the extension. There's that. Now I'm going to take and plug in the discharge balancer. So that's plugged in. I'm going to remove my plate and then I will plug in the battery out, or the balancer out to the controller. And then here on this second connection is where I will plug in my plate. All right, and I'm just gonna tuck that down into the bottom. And then leave that there. 
going to take my battery Now that I've got my cabling run, I'm going to bring it over the top and plug it in to my battery. And now I just need to test. So you can see now that the display is on. We're going to put it in pedal assist one. And then there you have it. notice that there is no factory battery it's just the additional battery that was added to the bike before i button all this up i'm gonna take the plate get it tightened back up put in the factory battery show you that it's actually working uh, you've already seen that the additional battery is on so then we will have proof that the dual battery discharge balancer is actually working All right, so now I'm gonna unplug the second battery that's loose. Turning on the bike, you can see now that it's on. Take it to pedal assist one, and here we go. Throttle down. There we are, we know that it's working. There is the loose cabling. So it is wired through the balancer and it is running. Well, that's that. We appreciate you guys checking it out. Check out the website for any more details regarding this. This is the Aventon Adventure. It is a badass bike. We'll talk to you next time.